What's going on creators? Chris Kelly here with ProductionCrate.com. All of these shots were enhanced with some aerial particles inside of Premiere Pro. I'll show you the tricks to making it happen. Let's start with this awesome lava clip. Now I really love this shot, but it is fully CG. So I think a nice touch of realistic dust is gonna help here. They might read as floating ash or something along those lines. Create a duplicate of your video by holding Alt or Option if you're on a Mac and dragging up the video layer. Next, you drag on one of your dust elements above both clips. You can get some free dust effects or 4K Pro options from footagecrate.com. I'll put a link to those down below. Since mine is 4K, I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down to fit and drop the opacity to zero. Select the duplicate lava clip and change your blend mode. My three favorite blend modes for using dust elements are screen, color dodge, or linear dodge. Those all work pretty well for bright, luminous scenes. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use screen. Now apply a set matte effect to your duplicate lava footage. Take your matte from video three layer or whichever layer your dust clip is on. Since mine is video three, that's what I'm gonna select. We don't want to use alpha for this since there isn't actually any alpha channel in these. So instead, I'm gonna select luminance. Try a few different blending modes to see what works best for you. All right, for this rad spaceman walking shot, this was made by artist Wes Richardson, AKA Snatch and Snacks. Make sure to check out his Instagram. I think this shot could look cool with some extra dust. I mean, that's why we're here, right? This loop and dust clip should work just fine. Since the spaceman walk shot is a tracking shot with the camera moving linearly, we can fake that pretty easily inside of Premiere Pro. The Spaceman Walk is 1080p, so we're gonna leave our dust clip at 4K resolution. Create a position keyframe with your dust clip to the far left, and then create a position keyframe moving it to the far right. Set those keyframes to be at the beginning and end of the clip, and now our dust will look a bit more like it's in the scene and reacting to the camera movement. Go ahead and make this a nested sequence. Next, add a crop effect. The circular crop is gonna give us a nice natural fall off. We can make the feathering pretty high for this. Change the blend mode on your nested dust layers to screen. Now we can see it working pretty well. I think I'd like a little bit less dust in the sky so I can just move my crop mask around. Dropping the opacity way down is gonna make it more subtle and less distracting. 20% works pretty well for this shot. Anytime your dust looks a little off, trust your eyeballs. They're very good at spotting what looks real and what looks fake. If it looks off to you, chances are it's gonna look off to your audience as well. For this radical window jump shot, all I did was use an animated linear wipe effect to roughly time it with the camera movement. I also made some minimal color correcting to it to make the white dust more of a bluish green to match the footage. This one is also pretty simple, but pretty cool. I use the replicate effect, which creates these mirrored tiles. So I can make the dust particles look a lot smaller than they actually are. I brought the count up to five for this and did a little color correcting with the RGB curves to make the particles a bit more green. I used another linear wipe here to crop out the ground. So it looks like the particles are coming from the plants a little bit more, kind of like a plant pollen. I added some slight camera blur afterwards and a screen blending mode brought it all together. All right, I hope all those tricks work out for you. If you want more tutorials in Premiere, let me know in the comments below. Check the description for links and remember to make it awesome. Later, creators.